Hey everybody, this is Dawn, and welcome back to another episode of... DB's Comic Talk! <laughs> For the first time ever on DB's Comic Talk, I have two guest stars. I have Rock. Hello. And I have Justin. What's up, everybody? So we are bringing you another episode of DB's Comic Talk. I haven't been around in a while doing these. I figured I'd get back into it with some recent news coming out. This one is all about un uncanny x-men number one now as you know as a big uncanny x-men fan i've been really looking forward to the relaunch of this book with gene back with uh cyclops coming back and wolverine back i couldn't wait for this book I, you know they've had a gold ending and red ending and and blue's gonna end so they're gonna announce this lineup so gentlemen they released the lineup the other day and i have to tell you I, i'm just so let down by this lineup I don't know if you've seen the cover art or the picture of it yet. If you want to look it up, the Uncanny X-Men number one issue. It's just so disappointing. So I'm going to run through the lineup for you. There's the cover image of Uncanny X-Men number one. In the in the front, the forefront of the, of the image here, you have Bishop. Wearing like a Scott Summers type old X-Men outfit. I, it, I don't know why Bishop is back with the X-Men. I mean, it makes no sense to me. He was a villain. He was tra trying to kill Hope Summers and kill Cable and all that. Why all of a sudden Bishop is is back with him is beyond me. I don't care about Bishop. I never wanted Bishop back. But, yeah, you get Bishop. You, are you looking at the image now? Yeah. yeah. You get Nightcrawler, which I think he's dabbing. I'm not sure what the hell he's doing in that picture. You know what that Nightcrawler drawing looks like? What? Uh, somebody traced a picture of Chris Evans from Infinity War and made it blue. Yeah, it's yes. terrible. It's absolutely horrible. And then the next one we have here is um, Psylocke, which she's back to looking like old Betsy Braddock, but she still has her knife. She's wearing even like her old, like when she was a German before they made her Asian outfit. So I don't know what's going on with her. Yeah, I'm all right with Psylocke. What was that? Oh. Looks like she has the sleeves from her most recent costume. Yeah, it's weird. Um, Jean and Storm, I'm fine with. Beast is over in Astonishing X Men. I don't know why he has to be here, as well. Too again, I don't. I hate when they you have characters in one book and you have to have them in another book and have overlap. Like it's annoying to me. And then Iceman, Cannonball. I'm okay with Cannonball. I'm all right with Iceman. But Jubilee. Why the hell do we have Jubilee in the in this book? And then we have X-23. I, I just... I uh, Where's Wolverine and where's Cyclops? This is supposed to be the relaunch uh, uh, of these X-Men books. Where the hell is Wolverine and Cyclops? It's it's terrible to me. It, it's just not... It's it's a huge... And, you know, the story is like, well, there's going to be like... These are going to come out every week to Uncanny X-Men for 10 weeks straight while they get through the <laughs> this disassembled story. Yeah, right. They they released the image of the cover of X Men Uncanny X Men number two and the cover for Uncanny X Men number two, which I'm showing you now, is just the Multiple Man doing all these positions. It's just ten versions of the Multiple Man, and he's in all these different positions, like the Goofy Nightcrawler position and the Cable position and the and the Bishop position. It's the it, same cover. It's the same cover, just with Multiple Man doing all the all the things. So pretty lame, pretty weak. I, I was expecting a little bit more. Like, Brock, who do you not like on this team if you were, like, going to pick up this book? Well, I don't like that look on Beast at all. No. It's like the bald he, swamp thing. He, he looks like something from uh, Lord of the Rings, honestly. Yeah, he looks Hazel. like an orc. Yeah. I mean, the, the lineup of characters isn't bad. Bishop doesn't make sense. Nope. Jubilee, they always throw her on there because she doesn't age for some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teenager on there, even though she's been around for 40 years. Yeah. Jean's but, outfit's I mean, horrible. The artwork is not good. No, the you artwork know, is not good Bishop's at all. Okay. But the rest look like, eh, let's just phone this in. Yeah. I, I, I'm i tired of X-23 being on these teams. I I mean, you're coming out X-Men, okay, unless they kill a lot of these people off in this disassembled book and then Cyclops is back in it at the end. But, like, 
where are they? Why are they not present on this book? You want to sell issues. Why are they not here? Like, you know, where's Wolverine? He's back. Like, why isn't he on here? Mm -hmm. And Nightcrawler is just terrible. <laughs> He's just unbelievably terrible. It's such a bad piece of shit cover that it's just like almost shocking. <laughs> Why are they on the moon? I don't, I don't know where they're at. I, I, and they're all like stand old, kind of, standing kind of huddled together. It's real strange. Doesn't it look like Bishop's wearing like an old Cyclops uniform there? That does look like Cyclops' dress shirt. Yeah. I mean, that's a character, too, they don't know what they're doing with. He was bad. He was trying to kill everyone. He lost his mind. You know, I don't know. Cannibal's back from being an Avenger. Maybe this is earlier in, in the future, and even before he went crazy. Yeah, this is before he went crazy. He's, like, normal. But I don't know. You have Bishop in the front. Like, I don't know. It's pretty bad. I was just very disappointed by this lineup. I would have went for a... I, I want to see in like a, a in this lineup. I would have went for a stronger besides Cyclops and Wolverine. I would have had something like Colossus and 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 you know Rogue Gambit, like some 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 more heavy hitters than taking out Jubilee. And I don't know. I've never been big on Cannibal either with the X Men. He's not me either. It's more. Of I would have done the X ninety two lineup. Yeah. Cheese. What do you think about it? I don't really have the connection to the to the comic X Men, but if this lineup that you described was like, it sounds a lot like the cartoon from the '90s. And so, yeah, for me, if if this this lineup doesn't make sense, if that's kind of what the the Uncanny book was that they're that they're relaunching. So. Yeah, I mean, they canceled all their other books to bring this one back, and you're giving me Jubilee. I don't understand why Jubilee hasn't been killed off in any of these storylines yet. I mean, she when she was a vampire, she was at least cool and more edgy and everything. Now she just stinks. She's back with the fireworks and the yellow coat. Like, I, I don't know. I've never been a big Jubilee person. Just bad. And you're right. Beast looks weird. He looks very weird. Very strange. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see where it goes. I'm sure we'll cover where this lands. But as, as far as news, this one kind of got to me. This one kind of bothered me. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. And have my first official guest. What could have been. What could have been. But the good thing is there'll probably be a new number one next year or in two years. Oh, yeah. So oh, plenty yeah. of chances to not let me down and move forward. For more disappointment. <laughs> there you go. Well, Brock, give it to me one more time. Thank you for guys for tuning in and listening to another episode of... DB's Comic Talk. Thank you, and we will see you next time later. Oh,